Hi everyone, Janine here, or Juella as you may know me. So welcome to the 2016 search for the next Tech Girls superhero. We here at the Tech Girls Movement are the regional ambassadors for the Global Tech Innovation Global Girls Tech Competition. So I'm very excited to have you here. Not only are you competing across Australia, but you have the opportunity to compete with others around the world. We have a really exciting program for you this year, and we've got more than 30 teams already registered. Due to the early Easter break, though, uh, we've had many teacher requests to start the program two weeks later. Now, we will be kicking off this week, but for those of you who register a little bit later, uh, we have two extra weeks at the end of the competition now. We've extended the deadline so that no teams are disadvantaged. So you have the 12 weeks of the program to meet with your mentor, and then at the end of the program, you have an extra two weeks, possibly, up until the 15th of July to submit your final uh, entries. So... As you may know, we launched a new book on International Women's Day, the 8th of March, so nearly a month ago, just over a month ago. Very exciting. So, let me just find my book behind me here. Here we are. Ta-da! Tech Girls are Superheroes, number two. So, very exciting that we launched this book at Google headquarters down in Sydney, and we flew in our finalists and our winners from last year's Search for the Next Tech Girls Superhero. Um, the teams got to show off their apps to the industry and have a really awesome time hanging out at Google, having lunch, free lunch in the lunchroom, checking out the amazing view of Sydney Harbour. And also um, a couple of the teams have uh, featured in the new book. So Team Pours Out, the winners of last year's Search for the Next Tech Girl Superhero, are featured in the book. Let me find them here. Where are they? And also, we have Sarah. So Sarah Price, who won the competition in 2014, she's also featured in the book. So here we have Team Pause Out. Hope you've checked out their pitch video from last year so you know the quality of entries that you're likely to expect this year. So this is our third year of the competition. Uh, in the first year, we had 18 participants. Last year, we had 132. This year, we're looking at more than 300 participants. So we're very excited that you're all here to be part of this awesome program. We're essentially training to be tech entrepreneurs. And what is an entrepreneur? Well, it's someone who um, starts a business, has a great idea, and tries to, to pitch that idea to others um, and get them on board and make a business that's actually viable and workable and something more sustainable. Sometimes entrepreneurs sell those businesses off, sometimes they work in them themselves. Um, there's a whole range of different ways that um, we're organising ourselves for the future. So, um, firstly I want to say thanks to all of you teams out there for registering. Thank you to your coaches for guiding you through this process. And also thank you to the mentors uh, who've come on board and have agreed to meet you for one hour per week online. So each of the different, uh, I guess, teams and uh, participants in the program have different roles. So, for instance, um, the girls, your role is to identify problems, um, a problem that you want to solve in your local community, and decide on an idea or a solution of how to fix that problem. You will work your way through to develop a prototype for an app, and then you'll pitch that on, online um, for everyone to see, and your business plan as well, so that others can see how you might be able to bring that idea to life. Then your coach, the coaches. Um, job essentially in the program is to make sure all of you te teams, all of the girls in the teams, actually have the tools that you need to be successful in the program. So they're going to coordinate to match, uh, meet you up each week with your mentor and essentially support you in any way that you need. Keep you on track, keep you focused and keep you on um, working towards your deadlines. Then we have our mentors. So the mentors are your role models for the program. They provide the advice and guidance that you need, um, so you can ask them questions each week when you meet with them. Maybe prepare a list before you come to meet with them to have your questions ready. Um, they're going to help you through the problem solving. So now they don't necessarily have to know how to build an app themselves, but they're going to walk you through how you find the information that you need. I mean, after all, they're not always going to be there for you to give you that advice, but they're going to teach you how to find the answers that you need. So a kind of a project management sort of role. So they're going to um, if, help you when you have any difficulties, uh, if you have any particular challenges, technology or otherwise, please just talk to them and we'll help find a way through. I'm always here as well um, if you have any questions that you need. Just email techgirlsofsuperheroes at gmail.com. So um, keep in mind we now have a new deadline for the competition. So we will have the deadline on the 15th of July at 5pm, so two weeks later than we originally planned. 
Um, I just want, also want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors for coming on board this year. So Google, Google have actually enabled one of this book to get into every single school in Australia. So it's 9,966 schools we've delivered to in the last month. 15,000 books have already gone out in a month. So it's been super successful. So um, if you don't yet have a copy, jump on the website and order some copies for your team. And I'm happy to send them out to you. Um, a couple of other things here just to finish up. We have some frequently asked questions on the website if you need to have a look. And otherwise, please let me know if you have any questions. Keep up to date with our activities via Facebook, uh, Twitter and Instagram and also our news blog on the Tech Girls Movement website. We post there quite regularly. Now you can also read about the real life superheroes on the techgirlsofsuperheroes.org website um, and it's now available in Spanish and Portuguese. So you can actually read the first Tech Girls Are Superheroes book. Here we are. It has been translated into by, by Tech Girls themselves into Portuguese and Spanish and you can read all about that, read them on the website. So you can practice your skills in another language and share it with your friends overseas. So I'm extremely excited to be on this journey with you again this year. Um, some of you are returning, some of you for the first time. Um, and I realise I didn't finish saying thank you to our sponsors. So we have Google on board, Fairfax Media, Suncorp, Digital Careers and Advanced Queensland. And I'm extremely happy to announce we now have the funding to go ahead with our final um, showcase event um, to wrap up the competition and announce the winners um, later in the year. So I'll keep you posted on that. So welcome to the Sisterhood everyone, uh, whether you're here for the first time or returning. I'm very grateful to share this awesome, exciting, innovative, creative experience with you. So are you the next Tech Girl Superhero? Let's find out. Good luck! <laughs>